Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve variable coefficient ordinary differential equations using the Laplace transform. Let's consider the initial value problem. y double prime plus x y prime minus y equals zero. So now it's no longer a constant coefficient ODE, it's a variable coefficient ODE. The coefficient of y prime is x, the variable. Along with the conditions that y of zero is equal to zero, and y prime of zero is equal to one. So to solve this ODE, I'm going to Laplace transform both sides of the equation. I'll need the following two facts about Laplace transforms. So here are two facts about Laplace transforms. The first fact is that if I do the Laplace transform of one derivative, so the Laplace transform of one derivative is going to be s times the Laplace transform of the function minus the function at zero. And if I Laplace transform a second derivative, that will be s squared times the Laplace transform of the function minus s times y of zero minus y prime of zero. Those are the rules by which the Laplace transform changes under differentiation. And conversely, if I find the Laplace transform of t times any function as a function of s, this will be the negative derivative with respect to s of the Laplace transform of the function f. Using these two rules, I will Laplace transform my equation now. So, if I Laplace transform our equation, I will have the Laplace transform of y double prime plus x y prime minus y is the Laplace transform of zero. The Laplace transform of zero is just zero. Now, I will use rules one and two to transform these things. The Laplace transform, so this will imply, the Laplace transform of y double prime will be s squared Laplace transform of y minus s y of zero minus y prime of zero. So these terms over here are the Laplace transform of y prime. Then I'll have plus x times y prime. We'll have to use this formula. This will be negative the s derivative of the Laplace transform of y. The Laplace transform of y is s Laplace transform of y minus y of zero. And finally, I'll have the Laplace transform just of y, and this will be equal to zero. Now, I will fill in my initial conditions. We know that y of zero is equal to zero, so this term is gone over here, and this term is gone over here. We know that y prime of zero is equal to one, so this term is equal to one, and that's it. So when we simplify this, so simplifying, I will have s squared Laplace transform of y minus one, minus the derivative with respect to s of s Laplace transform of y, minus the Laplace transform of y is equal to zero. Now I will simplify this. This will be s squared Laplace transform of y minus one. Then this will be minus s, then the derivative with respect to s of the Laplace transform of y, and then I will have by the product rule plus the Laplace transform of y, and then minus the Laplace transform of y equals zero. And if I rearrange these terms, what will we see? Rearranging these terms, I will have negative two Laplace transform of y, s squared Laplace transform of y, and then negative s Laplace transform of y, and I'll throw the one on the other side. So I will have negative s d by ds, of the Laplace transform of y, which is this term right here, then I will have plus s squared minus two from this negative Laplace transform of y and Laplace transform of y times Laplace transform of y is equal to one. Now we stop and observe that this equation is a linear ODE in the Laplace transform of y. So this is a linear ODE and what will the integrating factor be? So what I will need to do is I will need to divide by negative s to put it into normal form. Doing so, I will have d by ds of Laplace transform of y plus two minus s squared, flipping the sign over s, 
Laplace transform of y is equal to negative 1 over s. Now we will find the integrating factor of this system. The integrating factor will be e to the integral of 2 over s minus s over s squared is just going to be a single s. So my integrating factor will be e to the 2 log s minus s squared over 2. So after multiplying by this integrating factor, we will see that d by ds now the e to the 2 natural log of s will simplify to s squared, e to the negative s squared over 2. So I will have this, d by ds, of s squared e to the negative s squared over 2, Laplace transform of y, will be equal to s squared times e to the negative s squared over 2, times negative 1 over s, which will simplify to negative s e to the negative s squared over 2. Now I will integrate both sides of the equation. When I integrate the left hand side, I will have s squared e to the negative s squared over 2, Laplace transform of y is equal to an antiderivative of this expression over here is e to the negative s squared over 2. And we can check that. The derivative of e to the negative s squared over 2 is e to the negative s squared over 2 times the derivative of negative s squared over 2, which is just going to be a negative s, plus a constant c. Finally, I will multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So I can conclude that y tilde of s, Laplace transform of y, will be equal to 1 over s squared plus c times e to the s squared over 2 over s squared. Now we observe that this function, the second function that we found from this formula, does not tend to 0 as s approaches infinity. So we will discard this solution because it's not a valid solution. And we'll just see that the Laplace transform of our function is 1 over s squared. We know the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared. So we can conclude from this that y of t, the solution of our problem, or in this case, since we're using the independent variable x, that y of x will be equal to x. So y of x will be equal to x. And we can check that this works. The second derivative of x is 0. Then x times the derivative of x is just x. So x minus x will be 0. When I plug in 0 for x, I will get 0. And the derivative of x is equal to 1. So indeed, we see the solution that y of x is equal to x is the solution of our ODE. Thank you very much.